So Coney Island then, um, this is as far west as the Normans came, back to the time of the Normans, and uh, came here and they dug a well here. The tree is encompasses the well. The well is underneath the tree. Remember that the lock has been lowered four metres since the 1800s, so this well was right on the shore of the lock. Now why would you dig a well 20 yards from your front door because they were built in the round tower? I had to go back to the archaeologists to find out why they dug the well. And they told me it wasn't a well per se, it was a safe. That's where they put all their treasures, all their gold plate and that was put in there. History doesn't tell us what happened to the Normans. And we can only assume that they intermingled with the local peoples married and dispersed. But if they did, they forgot about the treasures in the well. And they remained there until 1564, when Lord Henry Sidney was sent here to control the O'Neills who were stationed in Coney Island and who were warring with the O'Connors who were in the neighbouring island of Darrawarra. He discovered the goods in the well, fished them out, took them back to England, became the wealthiest man in the British Isles, bought his way into the ministry and became the equivalent of Prime Minister of the time, Lord Deputy Sheriff or some such. A next track from a letter he writes to a friend of his boasting about the gold, he says, I've so much gold plate on my sideboard, I fear I shall have to engage a carpenter to construct me a new one. But he's a miserable old goat and the place has fallen down around him when he died. Now that tree is about 120 years old, lifespan of the beach was about 125. I was rather hoping it might come down before I retire, because if it does, you'll not see me for dust, I'll be in there digging. There's got to be a wee trinket in there for my retirement. But that's the story of the well. Thank you.